friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your weekend. We are here with another WW grocery haul. Excuse the appearance. My makeup has melted off, number one, because I went to Jazzercise and sweated like crazy, and it's 100 degrees here. So I apologize for the patchy makeup, but you know, it is what it is. So if you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you're going to find nutrition coaching. I do offer personal personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend taking advantage of this service as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, we'd love to have you join us over there are all down in that description box. I have some new food finds, a grocery haul for you, so let's jump in. So here is this week's grocery haul. I went to Walmart and I'm glad that I went in store because I found a few new food finds that I'm excited to share with you. So let's jump into the grocery haul. So I did a restock of paper plates. These were on sale or rollback at Walmart. These are the least expensive, highest quality paper plates. It's $10 for 300 of them. And you know, paper plates just makes life easy. Here's one of my new food finds from Joseph's Pita. These are the original mini pita snacks. I have some dip and some hummus that I need to eat up. And I thought this would be so perfect to dip into that. I think you get five or six of the little pitas for 120 calories and of course, course, as always, points are here on the screen. The three pack of grass fed, grass finished, organic, 93.7 ground beef. This is such a great deal at Walmart and it is some of the best ground beef. It's just under $18 for three pounds. For a little treat for us this weekend, I had to stop by the bakery. When I was at the deli section, I found these cute little mini vanilla cupcakes. What's great about these is you can have three of them for 300 calories, they're about 100 calories a piece. So it's a really low calorie, somewhat low point sweet treat and you get the frosting and the cake. So I'm excited for these. Since they have these in stock, I went ahead and grabbed another pack of my favorite Sam's Choice chicken apple sausages. I love these, you guys. These are so good. And the ingredients are 100% clean. So clean, these are Whole30 approved. As the weather's getting warmer, I'm more on a salad kick. And so I decided to pick up some light ranch so that we can add this to our salads and also so we can use it to dip in vegetables. I don't buy the Bolt House Farms. I know I'm probably gonna get some questions because it has carrageenan and I try to avoid consuming carrageenan. So I just picked up the Hidden Valley Light Ranch. I picked up a can of organic black beans. I actually need black beans for a dinner recipe. Also some petite diced tomatoes. And my recipe calls for pinto beans, but I couldn't find any organic pinto beans, so I just grabbed these tri-color beans. They have a mix of three different beans. Some tomato sauce, also for a dinner recipe, and they were completely out of organic, so I just grabbed the no-salt added hunts. Some Simply Heinz tomato ketchup because we were completely out of ketchup. I have the mother load of canned soup. Troy asked me to buy lots of cans of soup for him, so I actually picked up 10 different cans. I'll quickly go through the different kinds of soup that I picked up. Two cans of regular New England clam chowder, a can of potato, broccoli, and cheese chowder, creamy tomato with basil, creamy tomato with penne, lentil with roasted vegetable, minestrone, beef barley, and a can of garden vegetable. Restocked my yogurts. I'm hoping when I go to Costco this next week that they still have those really good no sugar added chobanis. Those are so delicious. I did grab a two good in mango hibiscus, a two good in peach. My all time favorite yogurts is this full fat 4% Siggy's and I picked up one mixed berry and one vanilla. One third less fat cream cheese for a recipe. A big bag of the reduced fat great value Fiesta blend. Oscar Mayer center cut bacon. I think this next week we're gonna do a BLT night. So I grabbed the huge pack, the mega pack of the center cut bacon. For Troy sandwiches this week, we're going to do a roast beef salami mix. So I have three quarters of a pound of Genoa salami. 
and three quarters of a pound of roast beef. I decided to change up my kombucha flavors for the week and I only needed a couple of bottles. I still have some left over. So I did go ahead and grab one of the Bloom because it's limited edition and one of my favorite flavors. This is a new flavor I've never seen before and this is the California Citrus. It really looks like the consistency and coloration of orange juice. So I'm excited for this. So I went ahead and picked up two bottles. French vanilla creamer for my coffee. Funny thing is Dairy Gold is a local dairy. That's where my husband works. So I said when I got home, did you know they make coffee creamer? And of course he didn't because he doesn't drink coffee, but I did decide to grab French vanilla. I don't know, it just sounded really good and I've never tried the Dairy Gold brand. Some organic russet potatoes. I wanna do a steak and potato night, just kind of like a meat and potato vegetable night. So I picked up some russets and then some sweet potatoes. This is actually for my lunch meal prep that you guys will be seeing on Monday. Everything else is produce, a bag of organic, mixed vegetables, some broccoli florets. I'm gonna do a kebab night this weekend, so I picked up some zucchini. Green onions for a couple recipes and salads. A big bag of organic lemons, of course, for my water. A head of iceberg lettuce for Troy's sandwiches. He's like, he's been liking having lettuce to put on his sandwiches, just for that little bit of crunch. And some organic crumini mushrooms for the kebabs. So that is everything for this week's Walmart grocery haul. Let's jump into what I'm doing for dinners this week, as well as what's on my menu for meal prep. So here is this week's menu for dinners. This is the week of June 26th through July 2nd. Can you even believe it's almost July. Today, Saturday, we're going out for dinner as always. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm doing a one pot turkey chili mac and cheese. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is a chicken burrito skillet. Tuesday is a leftover night because I try to go to jazzercise. Wednesday, we are doing BLTs. Troy has been really wanting BLTs. And then Thursday is our steak and baked potato, meat and potato night. And then Friday is Diesel's ACL surgery. So we're just going to do leftovers and try to eat up everything leftover from earlier in the week. Here's what you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. I can't wait to share these three recipes with you. For breakfast, I'm making a sweet potato breakfast bowl. This is a nice, clean, hearty recipe. Lunch is going to be glazed hoisin meatball bowls. This also sounds incredible. And then for a snack, Troy wanted something lemony. So I'm gonna do some lemon cream cheese muffins. So stay tuned on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week, what I'm doing for dinners, and of course what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. If you enjoyed this grocery haul, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really helps out my channel. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group, head on over, join us there. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!